Coach, how difficult is it? I've always been curious about this because you go, you, you get your team going and then you go into spring break. Yeah. And I know you lose a lot of athletes at that time because they probably go they for go, a spring break. Yeah, they go spring break. They go to grandma's, you yeah. know. How tough is that? Very difficult. Uh, but it's something that every team that and every coach I talk to deals with the same thing. Yeah. They don't know what to do with the athletes, um, you know. Easter hit us as well, so mm-hmm. people were going away for the Easter weekend, long yeah. weekend. Um, so we practiced Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I gave them Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Um, of course, the band was gone to Florida. The choir went somewhere. Um, <laughs> Easter weekend. You know, it would be the one thing if every school in the state had the same spring break, so we'd all be on the same – thing but some schools had it two weeks ago some had it last week some have it i heard on the news today some of them have it this week no so kid. Yeah. um you know it's going to be kind of difficult to judge where we are so yeah we'll just kind of use wednesday as an experiment kind of get people back into shape and then tuesday at home against jay county hopefully we can be pretty competitive against jay county they're a strong team this yeah. year so we'll have to see where we are you don't lose everything, but – and I imagine you don't feel like you're completely starting over, yeah, but in some but respects, does it feel respects, that way a little yeah, bit? it feels that way, yeah. especially on the relays, things like that, that we have to uh, work on quite a bit. Mm-hmm. And then, the, the te- as Scott said, the technique on the shot discus, yeah. uh, we're losing a little bit of stuff. It benefited us in a, in a way that our kids are, you know, hurting a little bit from shin splints because mm-hmm. – um, we had a terrible winter. We had to be in quite a bit for the winter. And then yeah. once we got outside, that you know that hurt them a little bit too. So uh, hopefully they rested their shins over break, and we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Now Wednesday, is, you heard me talking earlier that I guess Anderson generally is a pretty decent team, they, right? They beat Kokomo by one point uh, last week, 63-62. Uh, mm. So it's going to be very competitive, and it'll be a good, good matchup to see where we are. Yeah. Um, on the downside, it's the academic team competitions that day, so we lose some for academic team competition. Oh, no kidding. There's a steel band drum contest that day or <laughs> – concert that day so we lose percussion instruments so we're going to lose some major points but it's going to still give us an idea of where we are yeah. competitive you're kind of looking the next man up right i mean yeah. somebody else is going to yeah. step up for you i mean so you know i started working on lineup over over break and i thought well no he can't run or she can't run and it's like man i don't know we'll have to see we'll, we'll we got a lot of kids that are eager to you know, to come out and help out, and we'll, we'll see where we are. Coach, uh, does that also hurt from a standpoint in the long run? I know you're, you, you've you said, said this mm-hmm. time and time again, whether it's cross-country or track and field, that you're looking to the end. Yeah. But as you look throughout as this season goes along, just trying to catch back up, you certainly would feel that your times and everything would be much better. And I don't know how to avoid that. I'm not trying to ask the question, and you certainly again, but yeah. is it a little frustrating, though? Very frustrating. Um you know, we're a school of 1,400 students, yeah. but I've said this for years. It's the same group of kids doing everything. Yeah, It's the same group of kids that's in band, that's in choir, that's in uh, athletics, that's in on the academic team competitions. So, I mean, so we're not really pulling for 1,400 kids. We're right. pulling from, you know, two or 300 kids, and they're all the same kids. Yeah. So uh, makes it very frustrating as a coach. I understand as a coach and a teacher that everybody else wants these same athletes as well. But, you know, we're not going to be full strength probably till conference. So, yeah. you know, we got competitions and proms coming up and then everything else. So, yeah. you know, hopefully conference time when it rolls around, we'll full strength and, you know, we can be competitive with everybody. How forward are you to being at home next week? You mentioned again, Jay County. Yeah, we haven't had home meet in the last couple of years uh, because of the track situation. Hopefully we can be at home. I mean, I know they're predicting rain all this week. Um, they're in the process of putting up the discus cage. So if we don't get the discus cage up by next Tuesday, we've got some problems and issues there. Mm. So, uh, hopefully the rain holds off this week, but uh, you know I saw what pretty much rain all week, and yeah. then you're getting into the weekend, so we'll have to see what happens. And then of course you mentioned you're on the road again after right after that, yeah. a really tough competition there yeah, in Marion, Marion too. Relays, it's good thing it's at Indiana Wesleyan this year, so it gets us a chance to run on our conference track. But uh, it's a strong competition at the Marion Relays. It's like the 64th annual, and yeah. you know every year it's you know Kokomo, Marion, Richmond, Huntington, South Ben Adams, who's ranked in the top 10 and for one of the Fort Wayne schools are there so it's it's a strong competition 
by that time, before I let you go, by that time, are you saying, listen, let's, we need to be pretty much full strength for yeah. this to kind yeah. of see where we're at, yeah, right? Yeah, to see where we are or, yeah. you know, at least know where our holes are so we can start filling in those holes. So yeah. we need to be full strength. I mean, you look at one aspect, hey, we just started, but, you know, we only have, what, seven weeks of school left, yeah. so, you know, and in that, in that six weeks, seven weeks, We've got sectionals out of the way, conferences out of the way, and regionals out of the way. So, I mean, we're winding down, yeah. and we just started the whole thing. So Yeah. 